Father, lift me in this miracle service. Change my story. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Someone whose faith is praying. Someone who believes in Jesus is praying. Someone who knows God is all powerful is praying. This is part of the service you're not wasting your time believe me there is a god that can lead if god does not lift you no man can lift you if god does not heal you nobody can heal you if god does not honor you nobody can honor you hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, I believe, will be one of such nights that we will not forget in a hurry. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. I believe in Jesus. I really, truly believe in Jesus. And I believe in everything that he represents. I believe he's a miracle worker. He will never call you to waste your time. No. many of you have cried you have come with hearts opened you must believe the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe hebrews 11 and 6 that he exists and then that he is the rewarder not of them who are careless around his presence of them that diligently seek him you seek God carelessly, you will not find him. There is a law. Ye shall seek me and only find me when you search for me with all your heart. Please, in one minute, I'd like you to insist. I will never go back the same. Never. Never. Not with this challenge. I will never go back the same. 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 How else will the nations know that I met him? I will never go back the same. When Moses encountered him, he did not go back the same. Some of you are in ministry here. Pray, I will never go back the same. That I will contact the grace that will take me to another dimension. Some of you are in business here. I will never be the same. Politicians, career people, family people. hallelujah please keep standing i had a vision before i left home to come here and before we sit down let's just deal with that issue now i i saw like lightning and when i saw it i saw a spirit coming down and i saw written on it anger and the lord said that this spirit you see has stopped many people from stepping into prophecy and the lord told me that when i come even before we do any exhortation there is a wicked spirit called anger many of you may not know anger has nothing to do with being good or bad but it is a killer and a closer of open doors this is koinonia in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stretch my hands by the election of grace and i declare everyone here and every family here that has been kept down because of the spirit of anger right now at the count of three in this overflow this main auditorium i want you to bring all of them out all the overflows down to the basement outside from any nation at the count of three in the name of jesus this spirit of anger it must get out of your life right now are you ready? One, shalakataba. Two, three. Now, out of their lives. Bring them out. Out of their lives. Every altar sponsoring the spirit of anger. 
to destroy you it has destroyed relationships destroyed opportunities bring them out right now i decree and declare anger be gone you are a spirit 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 bring them out anger some of you it is whole families is a spirit when you are angry you make dangerous destiny altering decisions be free right now it has nothing to do with being good or bad my brothers and my sisters the lord brought you here to set you free are you just watching or you are praying everyone pray everything that represents anger in my life my destiny i come against it by the blood of the eternal covenant many would have been millionaires except that anger stopped them many would have risen to great positions anger dangerous spirit please pray this is koinonia now the lord is that spirit 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 and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i tell you there is no power that is not of the christ that will survive tonight's service we are still praying i still declare some of you are representing families the power of god is not just coming on you for yourself it's coming on you for your entire family you have been kept down because of the spirit of anger again i declare in the name of jesus anyone here under the captivity of the spirit of anger be delivered now 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 for those who are in front here and all and all the overflows i declare for those of you who have come out by the spirit here that spirit hear my voice i speak by the rod of a higher priesthood let them go now leave their families now leave their destinies now leave their families now in the name of jesus please pay attention i'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now for those of you who things never stay in your hands it does not matter what blessing comes there is an evil spirit that takes any good thing from your life any good thing you are connected to people who can lift you you're connected to opportunities that can raise you but nothing seems to stay there is a grace that can bring deliverance from losses listen to me it says and i will restore the years i want to pray don't just come out at random people are coming out by the spirit please this prayer take it serious you've lost opportunities some of you have lost time you've lost resources you've lost strategic relationships right now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus that name that is above every other name and if god be god in this house tonight there is no power that has kept you that will survive are you ready one two three shout jesus i command restoration every devil help them help them bring them out every spirit that has stolen things from you help them please my god my goodness Shatakata Brakatos Katabrandakatakadiata Restoration 
restoration, restoration, restoration of spiritual fire, restoration of opportunities. Restoration. For some of you, this week will not come to an end. You will receive calls that will amaze you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of Grace. For some of you, like Samuel, you will be told that the donkey that is missing, that you have been searching, by every human connection has been found. By a mystery that only the God of heaven can explain. please don't be distracted you came for a miracle service it's not a service to advise you it's a service to tear down darkness and everything that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ the spirit of shame and reproach hear me there is such a thing called shame that everything that brings this honor and reproach the devil ensures the, that you are there first then it happens can i pray for you are you tired of standing already in the name of jesus the christ of god anyone here under the sound of my voice that there is an embargo of shame and reproach upon your life your family your destiny at the count of three i want you to shout that name again and that devil must jump out of your destiny are you ready now one two three shout jesus the embargo of shame shame and reproach in the name of Jesus one last prayer and then we'll sit for a while do you know that in the realm of the spirit a man's destiny can be exchanged have you read that in your bible that when they wanted to kill a king he sacrificed his own son so that he will live long there are many people what you are living is not your destiny i stand by the god of heaven in the name of jesus that exchangers of destiny that have that have exchanged a glorious destiny for one that is full of defeat right now at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon any altar one two three take that grace right now take that in the mighty name of jesus every destiny that has been exchanged let there be a restoration now let there be a restoration now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not his beginning his mother called him jabez she bore him in shame can i tell you this please look at me let me tell you something about the grace for honor you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself no nobody can honor himself honor is conferred upon you by another when the grace for honor is not upon a life everything that is around you is shame and reproach
Hello, in my tongue night, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, in my tongue night, thy kingdom come. Hello, in my tongue night, thy kingdom come. Hello, there's someone here you lost a loved one last week just this week that passed i know that many people this is there's so many people here but the lord is ministering to me i want to pray there is we're going to pray corporately against the spirit of death but there is a particular family i am seeing this is it's been circles of death you lost someone last week now is there such a person here very quickly I want to pray for you before we sit the Lord is just putting it in my heart putting it in my spirit last week just this last week where are you from madam from UK, you came from UK you're welcome God bless you I hope you know that death is a spirit the rider upon the pale horse among the four horsemen in revelations his name is death and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject to bondage the person I'm seeing is wearing a nose mask this is my visions I'm seeing something like that someone wearing a nose mask I'm still going to pray for everyone but this is what I'm seeing my dear look at me this lady where are you coming from you see what is happening to her I'm seeing coffins in front of her I stretch my hands now by the spirit of the living God and I decree a paruska de balakatoshedia crete beketosa de brende kaparuski at alahaskia every covenant I use these people I'm praying for for everyone here any covenant connecting you with the grave now I'm going to pray listen please pay attention I'm praying for these people but I want to pray there are some of you you dare not go to bed in the night the only thing you see is dead people calling you is the grave the, the, the grave is a spirit as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you too every covenant connecting you to the grave you don't have to come out please you just receive from where you are i use this ones in front as a point of contact in the name of jesus christ Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? I declare in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Right now, everyone here who is under the call role of the spirit of death, in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Help her. Be delivered now. Please bring for me the two people now in this main auditorium that will shout under the anointing now. I just saw light on two people. Please bring them. I want to speak to them before we sit. Loud to the hearing of everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, for all of you who are in front here, I declare by the Spirit of God that everything that connects you to death be delivered now. Everything that connects you to the spirit of death be delivered now in the name of jesus please return to your seat rejoicing let me have those that i just called out now and then we'll be seated please be seated in fact please be seated we'll soon do our salutation and welcome but let's just let's just address this now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God everything that represents witchcraft in this family be, be healed now and be delivered be delivered from everything connected to witchcraft 
in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you good evening everybody welcome to the miracle service for the month of july let's celebrate jesus <laughs> hallelujah just bring her don't take her back just bring her keep her where she is i want to lay my hands on her yes it's okay in the name of jesus i command that devil to let you go now and your family be delivered now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus who is the christ of god in the name of jesus who is the christ of god amen and amen hallelujah praise the name of the lord we have a lot to do tonight and it's my intent that god will help us to redeem time as well as achieve so much in the name of jesus christ someone outside the overflow outside will start running please ushers hold the person or anybody there's someone who will begin to run by the spirit just hold the person i want to speak to that don't bring the person here just hold the person there outside the overflow in the name of jesus i stretch my hands the power of god is coming on someone outside you begin to run right now right now in the name of jesus help them let me speak and declare over that person help them please in the name that is above all names i declare by the spirit of god the same way you are running like this that is how you will step in with speed into the next level of your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone outside is going to shout now please keep it there media someone outside is going to shout loud under the anointing please bring the person to the front of their screen i want to speak to them loud under the anointing the overflow outside the power of god is coming upon that person right now mighty god there are things only god can do where then is our boasting it is he that has made us able ministers of the new covenant just keep her there in the name of jesus i declare liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit in the name of jesus the christ of god by wisdom oh god heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing father may flesh never be glorified that as much as you continue to use us may the world know that we are nothing more than vessels that have been shown mercy let me give you an advice no matter how far god lifts you no matter where god takes you the higher you rise the closer your knees should be to the ground it's an advice by the spirit pride is a killer it will kill anything pride took a man from heaven to earth it will take a man from earth to anywhere pride took a man from heaven or took a spirit satan now lucifer from heaven to the earth it will take anybody from where you are to anywhere we are only products of god's grace and god's mercy this is not self-condemnation we are confident in the sufficiency that came from him but we must unashamedly let the nations know because after you see these kinds of things usually the applauds joshua selman you see let me tell you early enough we are nothing but products of his mercy you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond the old. you look beyond the old. you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond the old. You look beyond me, oh, that's my testimony, that I'm the one, you have shown mercy, you have shown me mercy, you have shown me mercy, 
I am the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. May we get to points in our lives where the higher we rise, the more we access deeper levels of this grace that our hearts will remain ever humble. There's no such thing as we're like that in our family. Then it's an attack. The moment you are grafted into Christ, you are called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. Whether you are Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, South South, Spanish, anywhere and anyone at all. Remember what I taught you here? That the greatest need of an unbeliever is salvation. The greatest need of a believer is transformation. The greatest need of a transformed believer is empowerment. The greatest need of an empowered believer is character and humility. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. I honor and appreciate everyone. People have come from everywhere. We celebrate all who are following from every and any nation. God will continue to draw people to experience that which he has sent us to do for as long as we continue to lift him. The day we take our attention from him and focus on ourselves, then there is no reason why anyone should listen again. Very simple principles, but they control tremendous spiritual power. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to myself hallelujah let me speak for a few minutes on the subject of joy the glory of God represents the glory of God represents all of the majesty the splendor and the possibilities that are captured in God is called glory it comes from the Hebrew word kabod the Greek is doxa. It means the weightiness. The weightiness is an attempt to describe the vast riches, the vast wealth of a king. It's called glory. And the Bible lets us know that there is a relationship between the glory of God and joy. Now please look up. This is a miracle service. I want to show you why many people are unable to receive from the Spirit. The reason is because many do not know or many have not been taught the role that joy plays in the life of a believer. Hallelujah. Let's start tonight with Joel, Joel 1 and verse 12. Joel 1 verse 12. The Bible says the vine is dried up. Please look up. It's projected. And the fig tree languished. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree. Even all the trees in the field. How many of you know that men are likened to trees in scripture? He shall be like a tree. So all the trees in the field, no exception, they are withered. Why? Help me. Because joy is withered away from the sons of men. That when a believer cannot access joy, it is a very tragic situation that requires emergency emergency joy habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 17 to 19 the prophet although the fig tree shall not blossom he said now this is a chaotic situation this is not a pleasant situation at all although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vine the labor of the olive shall fail the f and the field shall yield no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no herd in the stalls this is a perfect description of hopelessness it says yet in the midst of it i will rejoice not in myself i will rejoice in the lord and then he says i will joy in the god who is able to save me 
I will joy in the God of my salvation is the word Yehoshua where you get the word Joshua God our salvation hallelujah very very powerful the Lord is my strength he says and he on account of my joy will make my feet like hinds feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places as a result of joy many believers are taught faith but they are not taught the role that joy has to play can I tell you this the moment the devil wants to destroy an individual and stop you from receiving or walking in the experience of the blessings of God among the many spirits that he releases to a believer number one is fear fear is a spirit that opens the door for all other spirits to come and then the spirit of gloominess sadness or what we have come to know in our civilization as depression I tell you by the authority of scripture that depression is not just a medical issue there is a medical expression of depression but depression is a spirit notice medically the character of depression is that it brings you to a place of silence and the one who keeps quiet in this kingdom is the one who loses because the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous are we still together now? Praise the Lord. Now, please pay attention. There are many legitimate grounds, as we would call it. In 24 hours, there are enough activities to attempt to suck away the joy of an average African, an average Nigerian. All you need to do is put on your television or internet or whatever it is, go to work and you will find more than enough issues. Someone is annoying you before you get to the office. And some of these things are programmed by the devil because he knows the role that joy has to play in receiving. Let me show you a few scriptures, just an exhortation and then we'll pray. Are we together? The Bible says a few things about joy. Number one, Nahum chapter 8 please from verse 10. Nehemiah really not Nahum Nehemiah Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 the B part the Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is strength in the spirit amazing amazing that when God wants to impart strength upon the believer he gives you joy the joy of the Lord is your strength and in this kingdom you require strength to pull through the vicissitudes of life if you lack joy then you lack strength the bible says joy is strength in psalm 16 and verse 11 psalm 16 and verse 11 the bible says in your presence thou will show me the path of life in your presence now look look this the bible says in god's own presence is full of joy no wonder he's almighty no wonder there are no impossibilities why because there is joy the atmosphere that makes that lives with him in his presence is fullness of joy and then at your right hand there are pleasures can you imagine the relationship between joy and pleasure more joy more pleasure less joy less pleasure in your presence is the fullness of joy and at your right hand so the Bible tells us that joy is the believer's strength in this kingdom. In Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3, please give it to us, Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3. Very, very interesting rendition. He now tells us that joy is a fetcher in the realm of the spirit. It is the authorized fetcher that brings out the riches of redemption and makes them accessible to the believer. It says, therefore, with joy, shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation salvation all of the blessings that came on account of the death the burial and the resurrection of the christ jesus now he says that you will use joy so you use joy to draw healing you use joy to draw restoration are we together now you can stand before a well and yet not have the fetcher that brings water the well is full of water ready for your taking 
but the fetcher is not there so joy is not only strength to the believer joy is what we seal together very very powerful very very powerful let's look at one scripture i thought this one was really very instructive first peter chapter one please we'll start from verse three first peter chapter one verse three we're reading to verse eight first peter one three now watch this blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of jesus christ from the dead we're reading to eight verse four to an inheritance incorruptible undefiled and that faded not away reserved in heaven for you you who are kept by the power of god through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time verse 6 now watch this it says wherein ye greatly rejoice though now for a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trial of your faith be much more precious than gold that perisheth though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of jesus christ read verse 8 with me if you're a christian ready one to read whom having not seen ye love uh-huh in whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable that brings you glory you have not seen it manifest yet you have not seen the manifestation of that prophecy and yet you are full of joy you are full of joy lord i give you praise and they ask you has the job come no not yet it has not manifested i've received it i'm yet to have it and receiving is enough for me to have that joy there is a difference between receiving and having receiving is spiritual having is when it manifests therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire watch this when ye pray believe that ye receive and then if you believe you have received it then you shall have it you cannot have what you have not received the moment you receive by faith now you begin to express joy and let me tell you this you see this is why the faith life the canal the natural man cannot understand or receive the things of the spirit why because they are spiritually discerned why begin to rejoice over something that has not manifested the spiritual fire you desire is yet to come and yet you rejoice with joy unspeakable apostle peter says full of glory can i tell you to happen in your life before you have joy if you want to wait for things to be positive before you have joy then you are not manifesting the full potential of a christian joy is of the holy ghost you can be happy when you have a salary raise you can be happy it's of the spirit you can sit in the midst of a storm and yet rejoice is that true joy is three or four loved ones and you are rejoicing lord i thank you i rejoice many believers walk as if jesus christ just died and they announced his funeral many people just you know they, the way they walk and live gloominess and when people ask you you are easy to speak in the flesh why wouldn't i you know rejoice i am or why wouldn't i be angry why wouldn't i be sad look what is happening in my life that's not how we operate in this kingdom no you must make up your mind that absolutely nothing will sustain the ability to tamper with your joy it may touch any other thing but if it does not touch your joy it didn't really touch anything let me repeat myself no matter what you lose in your life my brothers and my sisters people of god if your joy is still with you the devil only wasted his time mm. it's true yet i will rejoice and i will joy in the god of my salvation yet i will rejoice i will joy in the god of my salvation I know that many of you have come thousands and so many thousands others following online trusting God for all kinds of miracles and some of you perhaps from the start of the service you've not even turned to look at your neighbor and say God bless you you're just frowning and waiting and even when the word comes you can say what is this thing now we've had three weeks of teaching go straight to the point 
Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? When joy dries in your life, it will affect your health. The Bible says so. It says a merry heart. Is it in your Bible? A merry heart doeth good in the similitude of medicine. When you swallow a tab, you swallow a drug, you are already happy. The drug has not worked yet, you are smiling. Are we together? Because you trust the pharmacist, you trust those who made it that you have not seen. And even though the evidence has not appeared, oh, I'm suffering malaria, or I'm suffering whatever it is, and you take drug or injection or whatever it is, you begin to rejoice. How are you feeling? You have been like that, yet you say better. Is that true? And after two, three days, the manifestation comes. Make up your mind that while I wait, my joy will continue to grow. While I await the manifestation of prophecy, Satan, you will never find me frowning and then to call God unfaithful. Just because tears are coming out of my eyes does not mean I am not joyful. I will cry while joyful. Hmm. Are we together? Make up your mind that nothing will sustain the ability to stop you from sleeping. He is awake, you are awake. Who is Lord? The Bible says the keeper of Israel. The keeper of Israel. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, and if our God is for us, you see, let me tell you how Satan works. Satan is master of the flesh realm. Don't you go near the flesh realm because it's his domain. Uh-uh. You come there, that's his constituency. The moment you are in the flesh. He knows that man, by the fallen nature of, of man, we, we respond to our impulses, our sensory perceptions. The things you hear, the things you see, the things you feel, the things you taste. And so he orchestrates events very intentionally to make God look unfaithful. Just when you are about to sing a song of praise, you hear that the price of things are going up in the market, and then you hear, you hear that order, something is happening. Oh, there is a rumor that they are about to downsize people. Are we together? And then you just take a little nap and you see a grave and cry. Who told you it's your grave? Was your name written there? What if it's the grave of your enemy? And you get up from that experience and you sit down lord are you there you know some of these things we say and yet we call what we are saying prayer that's not prayer there are conditions for any communication to be called prayer one it must be god you are talking to two it must be by faith if you are talking to yourself you are not praying it's a lamentation And yet the devil sees a few people who rejoice for no reason because every time you begin to rejoice I tell you your rejoicing and your joy confuses Satan because men are not men are not wired by the fallen nature to rejoice over nothing so he now begins to suspect what is making this person rejoice I can't see anything physically and yet you have received so many things so many things make up your mind that I'm going to be joyful for the rest of my life. The end of my faith. I am full of joy. Now we do not negate the realities that are before you. I know it's been 10 years without a child. I don't want to downplay on what people have said around that barrenness. But find joy. You have nothing to lose. In fact, here's how the Bible puts it. It says, he that weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless rejo come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. It says that they that sow in tears, they shall reap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't rush. It says you will reap in joy, not with joy. 
you will reap in joy you will take the food in the kitchen that means before you take the food you must enter the kitchen you will reap in joy if you don't enter that realm of joy there is no harvest the only possibility that a harvest will come is when you are in joy the only possibility that i will withdraw or cash this check is when i'm in the bank so i will cash it in the bank you will reap in joy so if you are outside of joy you will be surprised how a harvest of three months will take six years because there is no joy are we together now i don't know if it's still true i pray it's still true africans they say are some of the happiest people is it still true oh may it remain so in the name of jesus christ apostle you don't know what is happening to me as i'm sitting down right now there is already a letter from my landlord i'm even afraid of going home i'm thinking of where i will go after this service you know how how short or how long it took god to recreate the earth that you can be in a service like this brothers and sisters and this god the one i know i don't know the one you know but the god that i know that you are in a service like this and god begins to move systems and structures brings helpers to you if you don't believe this you are not a christian i am telling you hallelujah the joy of the lord the joy of the lord here's what the bible says two more scriptures and then we'll begin to pray two more scriptures and then we'll begin to pray john chapter 16 and verse 24 jesus himself speaking and then he said this hitherto ye have asked nothing in my name so we have established the fact that the joy of the lord can be a reality in your life regardless what is happening around you but but he does not just want you to have joy you see anything god gives men he gives it in abundance if it's peace he gives it like a river is that true if his life he gives it more abundantly if it's peace he gives you the peace that surpasses knowledge he that told ye have asked nothing please look at this scripture in my name he says now ask ask and ye shall receive remember what i taught you about receiving anything you receive by faith you will have it for sure ask and ye shall receive why that your joy may be full wow so the reason why he heals is not just for the healing no do you know that the end of most of these things we seek is really joy why do you want the child what do you do with the child do you eat the child joy what do you do when the promotion comes i build a house uh-huh after that i call people to thank jesus after that what do you do joy the end of many things that we need and we seek what we really are looking for is not a car what we really are looking for i'm telling you this is not a house what you are really looking for is not twins you think you are looking for twins what you are really looking for is the fullness of joy it's only that you have learned either through scripture or sociologically speaking or scientifically speaking from around things it is joy please keep that scripture jesus is speaking he that told ye have asked for nothing so i know that there is a relationship between the fullness of joy and your receiving certain blessings why ask god to heal you when you know that one day you will still transit everybody jesus healed in the bible eventually died so why did he heal them lazarus that he raised from the dead did he die again of course he did so why did he raise him from the dead it looks like it's a wasted project did he do it because what you are really looking for is joy it looks like you are looking for promotion remember what you've written in your own miracle your prayer point now you see how many that our dear brother he said he wrote so many things that's because he wants so much joy so much joy listen you have to understand this 
so that you can discern the blessings of God nothing in itself really blesses you long term it is the joy that comes out of it what happens when they tell you someone just bought a great car you see the person smiling you are happy with the person too he enters the car then what joy what is the difference between staying in a rented apartment and staying in your own house it still has rooms you will say rent that's the obvious answer not the right one the right answer is joy now I don't have to pay rent again what if somebody would pay the rent for you you would still want to have your own house even if someone is paying okay I take the pressure off you I will keep paying the rent just stay there for as long as you leave you will still want that place joy he says he that told you have asked for nothing you've been anointed why do you want another anointing again why do you want more apostle I pray for hundred people and only two got healed so why are you pressing in fastings and prayer why do you want a higher dimension of grace and ye shall receive that your joy may be full let me show you one more scripture are we still together Acts chapter 8 please this was Philip in Samaria Acts chapter 8 we begin our reading from verse 5 Acts chapter 8 and verse 5 let's read together ready we'll read to verse 8 one to read and Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them what did he preach Christ not self Christ it matters what you preach if you want to see miracles you preach self you will confirm everything by yourself you preach Christ he will come to defend and confirm so before we talk about miracles we have to examine please go back to that scripture i don't want to just jump it and assume you saw it verse 5 preach christ preach christ he went down to the city of samaria and preached christ unto them next verse verse 6 and the people with one accord they gave heed unto those things which philip spake hearing and seeing my god that's how you know that God is at work. You will not hear alone. You will both hear and see. If you hear alone, it's not the God of the Bible. It is hearing and seeing. The miracles which he did. Uh -huh, verse 7. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies and were lame were healed. Read verse 8, please. One, two, read. That was it. God didn't just want individuals to have joy. He even wants cities to have joy. Talk less families. So a whole family can have joy through the abundance of the things they hear and they see. When you hear that God is moving and you see it in your life. When you hear that God is lifting and you see it in your life. The Bible says there was great joy. There was great joy. That means if your life is barren of genuine results, what do you think will be affected? Among the many things, you call it your health, but it's not really just your health that was affected. The first thing that was affected was your joy. When your joy is affected, any negative possibility can happen. Your health, a merry heart, do a good like medicine, brought a broken spirit, can dry up the bones. That means when we experience all the miracles that we're about to experience now and will experience after this miracle service among the many things they bring to your life is joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable do not downplay what joy can do joy can give you long life long life long life Lord this is what you have done when God blesses you like he did to Abraham in Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1. The Bible says now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says the Lord had blessed him in how many things? All things. Not some things. All things. All things. So why are we here? We are here because he called us. And he called us. 
that in union with his word and his spirit he will administer the fullness of joy the fullness of joy the vaccination against a defeated life the fullness of joy that you are happy and rejoicing glory be to God in a few minutes we're going to be celebrating phenomenal miracles here many people are going to be delivered age-long captivities just like that you know let me tell you this by the privilege of God's grace I have been this in this business of dispensing the power of God for a very long time and yet I never get tired of the wonder working power of God no episode is ever the same is God not amazing that I'm, I'm here standing I do not even know what is wrong with you but the Spirit of God is moving across the length and the breadth of this auditorium all the overflows outside from nation to nation and in a moment in a twinkling of an eye burdens lifted yokes atmosphere shift now chains be broken holy spirit heaven open atmosphere Please just sit for a few minutes let me explain to you something nobody really understands the dynamics of the miraculous and the supernatural but let me attempt to put a few things in perspective and we'll pray please look up you know what a miracle is a miracle is a supernatural occurrence it's not a natural occurrence it happens in this realm but it is not from this realm a miracle is a supernatural occurrence among the many things that miracles say miracles reveal the love of Jesus and they also reveal the power of God miracles do not operate by the law of nature or the law of science it is beyond that realm it is God himself transporting supernatural realities from the realm of the spirit superimposing those realities into this our three-dimensional plane of existence what you call a miracle is actually a transportation of spiritual realities from the realm of the spirit it is only a miracle in this realm in the realm of the spirit it is not a miracle the child you are looking for is say, only a miracle to you but in the realm of the spirit is not a miracle for if it does not exist it will never manifest everything that you look for in Christ the only reason why you can seek it is because it truly exists it is beyond your horizon but it is still there I'm saying this to you so that you don't begin to ask the kind of question that they they asked in um, um, was it was it was it Psalm 78 now and verse 41 I'm not sure if that's the scripture let's attempt and see if I got it Psalm 78 and verse 41 the Bible says, yea, they turned back and tempted God and they limited the Holy One of Israel. Men can limit God through their beliefs. How shall these things be, Mary said, seeing that I know not a man. And he said, Mary, this is beyond your realm. This is not cooking. This is, this is, this is spirit activity. The power of the highest. Every time the Holy Ghost is in a place, there are no limits to what can happen. I'm saying this so that you don't look at what you've written or the medical. Look at the, our dear lady who shared that testimony. How in the world do you sit down and someone has damaged kidneys or lungs and all of that? And then the power of God. It is. Is that true? Yes. If a doctor were to carry out a surgical procedure on a, a patient, there's no other way they would usually do it except to be able to open the person up and then go to the organs concerned and correct whatever they need to correct but that's not the way it happens in the realm of the spirit when jesus resurrected he did not open a door to enter the disciples were inside there and he just walked through and said all hail 
this is a dimension so he does not need to open you up to bring out what needs to come out like you are seated there when he caused Adam to sleep Adam didn't stand up and say what in the world who touched me no 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 Adam did not so you can be sitting quietly here and there are things he's taking out of your life and there are others he's bringing into your life supernatural let me tell you how the miraculous works there is an interplay of the ministry of the holy spirit what is his assignment to make the word true in your life the word is ever true but it needs to be true in your life let god be true and all men right so whether you have the miracle or not the word of god remains true but the assignment is not for it to remain true is to be true in your life forever oh lord thy word is settled where not your life it takes faith and the operation of the power of god for it to now be settled in your life hallelujah yes. so when the word of god comes the holy spirit follows that word to see it through this is why the ministry of the word is powerful because without the ministry of the word the holy spirit does not have any assignment he is the confirmer you've been taught here he brings to pass the word like you're sitting quietly now and with one declaration backed up by heaven my goodness miracles begin to happen here because the holy spirit is the one moving but in addition to the ministry of the holy spirit please follow me carefully and be sensitive there is the ministry of angels i hope that in a letter series we are going to deal with the ministry of angels the bible says are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to they that be the heirs of salvation for instance let's look at the resurrection of jesus christ the third day according to prophecy he would rise up from the dead and the first person we see there is an angel he came and rolled away the stone and sat on it so angels have roles read your bible and see that angels use hailstones they sent it from the realm of the spirit it entered this physical realm and killed people two angels so that that devil that vowed that over my dead body for you to rise there there is a track record of angels knowing what to do with such people oh yes sir the ministry of angels the ministry of angels and you know what the beautiful thing is that the angels of God why am I saying this to build your faith so that when we are about to receive you don't sit down and you're saying now I'm seated on a wheelchair or I'm seated with a crutch and I can see my leg medically speaking will I be able to stand the Bible says just as you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the Lord there are certain dynamics to this equation that only God can explain yours is to believe to believe if God says he's able to lift you don't just sit down and look at your certificate and look at every connection look at where you are coming from and say ah if my uncle did not help me who else will help me it's amazing that God is called all the names you need to rise both God and father he's all God the same person father the same person all it takes to rise he has it are you blessed tonight because some of you your challenge may not be a health challenge however you are just tired of situations that must change in your life brothers and sisters the power of God is able to come to you like a visitor sent to your house and begin to correct things in your life and if it is God and it is his word read what Paul was teaching the Hebrew church about the word that the word of God is quick and powerful quick and powerful the word of God can compress time compress time many times it does not take time oh it just takes the power of God at work The nations are standing tonight we have called them to come and see the god of wonder 
several have come from around this city within and outside of this country many of you are seated now jesus himself is here because this is his church he's the head of the church the spirit of the living god moving already the angelic ministry well stationed your request is here as proof of your expectation you are here as proof that you have faith those connecting online connecting by faith all is set for the power of god to invade our lives my only encouragement please take your eyes away from every challenge you came with and look to jesus the more you look at that challenge you will begin to sink apostle you do not know the billions of naira that i owe how am i going to pay that debt you will pay that debt through men and the men will come through prophecy and prophecy will come through the spirit of god i can tell you how you will come out of that situation apostle how will my rising come it will come through men and the men will come when god sends them everything on earth happens from god through men to men it's not very difficult if you trust men more than god you are already in trouble first you are in idolatry and the second thing is that the jealousy of god will necessitate that he's exempted from that process are we learning something tonight so let your faith come alive believe god make up your mind that tonight i'm not just going to clap for other people's miracles i i insist by faith and can i tell you this my brothers and my sisters please hear me do not let the devil make you believe that god is not interested in your well-being because sometimes we are victims of what we hear the bible says to be careful what you hear also be careful how you hear it you can hear a teaching that negates the fact that god wants you to be lifted by well-meaning sincere individuals that's not correct he came to give us life and even life more abundant the only thing is that the pursuit of things must not become what drives you it is his majesty his presence to know him and to live for him it is not things that destroy you it is focus when focus goes to those things then it now destroys you the bible says the gentiles run after these things and your heavenly father knows that ye have need of them ye have need of them ye have need of them your heavenly father knows that you need your bills paid your heavenly father knows that you need the school fees of your children don't act like you don't need it your heavenly father knows that you need to live long and if this body is deteriorated you will not be able to live long your heavenly father knows that cancer is a killer your heavenly father knows that sugar diabetes or any kind of sickness can kill you it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom but you must believe anything god gives to be received can be rejected including his son as many as received him that means some will reject him and he will respect him are we blessed as for me i came here tonight first to lead god's people in that procession and then to also receive myself you see that it is up to you to make up your mind and say lord everything you have for me in this service i receive by faith and i watch it manifest in my life let me emphasize this scripture as we prepare to rise he that told you have asked for nothing he says ask ask don't assume ask that you may receive to the end that your joy may be full for some of you what you need is wisdom wisdom to know what to do there is a relationship between wisdom and wealth by me kings reign he says with me are riches wealth and honor yea, durable riches and righteousness for some of you what you need is favor the cure for emptiness exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I heard that there are many you know there are many people here you are talking of land when properties people being established i am not ashamed when it has to do with declaring the whole counsel of god 
everything that is God and pro God I am for it including the prosperity of the saints Psalm 44 verse 3 let me show you a scripture this is the real secret to territorial dominion the faith that translates to land this is the key for they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance why because thou hast a favor unto them hallelujah for others is restoration and I will restore to you the years for others is lifting the prophet said by this time tomorrow and a foolish man opened up his mouth and said even if God will open the windows of heaven he saw it and died at the gate there is it lifting God is able to lift ask the village girl called Hadassah God lifted her ask the woman who it looked like she had gone past her time of glory called Ruth God still lifted her you think it's too late ask Abraham if 75 is not too late for God find rest are we together there is nothing you cannot do if you have said it then you will Please listen to me we're about to pray I want to shake unbelief out of you listen to me this man standing before you is proof that there is nothing God cannot do God is the lifter of men God is the one who lifts some of you may be listening right now you came from a background where it looks like there is no hope listen my dear ones hear me you are in a place where there is a grace truly that can lift rejoice not over me my enemies there is a place where God is able to resurrect the dead some of you you came here confused no direction you don't even know what your life is about but you're coming here to meet with jesus the christ and he's about to give you a new beginning for some of you men men have beat their chest and in their arrogance they have said except i come in you will not rise Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day. Every man. Nobody was born an adult. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman. So by the time a man beats his chest, God says, is it not because you, is it not when you wake up in the morning, you can go back to the office and oppress people? Ah, the psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustained me. Can I tell you this? The Holy Spirit is the holder of every life on earth, including the life of arrogant people who will not fear God. I believe in Jesus. He sent us as instruments of his power. He sent us with the backing of heaven he sent us with the grace that lifts ladies and gentlemen i present to you tonight the power of god god is powerful god is mighty please rise up on your feet 
Go ahead and begin to pray in advance. I'm walking out of here with liberty. I'm walking out of here changed. I'm walking out of here imparted by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, please, let's just listen attentively. We'll do three things at the same time. Number one, um, it's our culture every time during the miracle service. And this is not a ritual at all. It's an instruction that God gave. It's a covenant of answer prayer that we have with him. So the requests that you have brought, whether online or you have written it, if you are yet to write, be patient there'll still be a few moments for you to write or in case you wrote it down and your faith could not write other things because you are afraid let me challenge your faith to finish up that list because God is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or think the Bible says hallelujah praise the name of the Lord amen and then I'm going to be praying ministering deliverance and then we'll be praying for the sick and just speaking restoration i sense tonight that before this service will finish god will want me to do an impartation do you know what an impartation is an impartation is a transference of graces there are some of you here who are in ministry there are some of you who have desired certain dimensions listen you have to know that possibilities happen in this kingdom based on the grace that is upon a man not just based on the will of god God can will to do, but if the engracing is not there, that possibility may not happen. The possibilities and our results in this kingdom are predicated largely on the extent, the kind, and the quality of that grace that is upon us. My God, the power of God is strong here. so write everything you need to write and ushers maybe pr you can join them whilst we're ministering and all of that is i'm saying this because some people will be under the anointing others will be ministering to them and they might not be able to drop it so here's what will happen you may do well to pass it to the last person nobody will read your request let's just do it very quickly pass it to the last person whether to your left or your right whichever and then whoever is holding them all just lift them very quickly and then let's have ushers and maybe PR you can help them or any other department that is available so that we can get those requests very quickly thank you Jesus what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you none like you sing what are you turn say Andrew I'm hearing a name Andrew 
Andrew. I'm hearing a name, Andrew. You are wearing like a maroon dress. You are at the back. Andrew. Is there someone like that? Andrew. What's your name? Were you holding something on your left hand? Were you holding something on your left hand? I saw in my vision you were holding like a card, maybe the visitor's card or something. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You're a minister. What do you mean, minister? Okay, you're called into ministry. I want to pray for you. There is a massive wind of deliverance that is about to blow in this place right now. Deliverance means the spiritual system that separates you from every obstacle that has impeded your advancement. It's not just casting out demons. Spirits are not the only things that have to be separated from you. If you are separated from trouble, it's deliverance also. Are we together? My friend, look at me. I will pray for you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I pray that the Lord will help you and show you mercy Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is not ministry issue. God wants to step in and visit your family. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of God, let there be a miracle for you right now. Amen. Let there be a miracle for you. You're also coming out. Okay, all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman, I'm about to pray, but there is a woman I'm seeing. Is it eight years now? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I don't know who that is, whether it is in this auditorium, the overflows, but I'm seeing in my vision a woman eight years. Please make sure you are not just coming. Make sure you meet the exact prophetic word, eight years. I bless you, gentlemen, in Jesus' name. Please, two things, make sure you are married and make sure it's exactly what I said. Please. Madam, how many years have you been married? 15 years. I said eight years, but you're here, just stand. Eight years, is your husband here? He's not here. You believe in Jesus, that he will give you a child? Yes, I do. Mm. Where are you from, madam? No, not no. State of origin. I can hear you. Okay, I'll pray for you. Ah, my goodness. Father, in the name of Jesus, Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now! In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the end of it. Go and return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Listen, we are not herbalists. We fear God and our power comes from the throne. Sometimes it's good to clarify this thing so that there's no confusion at all in the name of jesus christ who is that now we don't have to madam don't cry weep not for the book is open i want to pray for you where, where are you coming from? I'm so touched by where, where are you coming from, madam? How long have you been married? Are you here alone? Where is your wife? Two of you. You see, brothers and sisters, when God reveals these things, it, it is not to show, I continue to say it, it's not just to show that a man is powerful. Many of these families, you know, you know how it is in Africa. When these kinds of results don't come, people can say and do all sorts of things. But there is a God who reigns in heaven. I want you to believe me that you will return with children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands to them. We are also priests who are ministering. Let's declare as a family of faith. The Bible says, none shall be barren. I'd like us to declare. The power that is responsible for barrenness, 
in the name of Jesus Christ we cast it out of their lives regardless the medical condition we correct it we change it every closed womb be open be open be open be open in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare over you sir this is you and you just lift up your hands two of you where are you coming from from africa from i want to pray for you and your wife just hold your hands in the name of jesus christ every ordinance this is not even just the issue of fruitfulness your overall progress in life i declare by the power of the i'm looking at you and i'm seeing two of your hands tied in the spirit there is nothing that is working this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over you and your wife i lose you now i lose you now in the name of jesus christ go and succeed go and prosper and in the name of jesus christ hold on let me just do my crazy thing on stage here i'll soon let you go and sit down the lord is telling me that all of you are going to have miracles but the one with twins the anointing is coming on you now there is one of you i'm seeing twins in my vision and i'm seeing i just saw like rain this is what i saw the power of god in a mighty way that one person is honestly my brothers and my sisters this thing that god does if i have my way if not that i'm under the anointing i will not embarrass myself like this in the presence of people are we together but this is what the power of god can do i saw twins and the lord said he will identify that person because his power will rest upon that person lord in the name of jesus we decree now and we declare by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ as god has declared it go and return with your miracles in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ by the supernatural power of the holy spirit god has spoken once and in the name of jesus there is nothing that will stop his word from coming to pass we place that word upon you and as god has declared let it be for you in jesus name i pray let's celebrate them as they go back hallelujah i want to rebuke the spirit of delay there is such a spirit called delay and i want you to bring those people out there will be a mighty move of the spirit the spirit of delay the spirit of delay and while i'm praying for the spirit of delay i'm seeing that there is someone i'm seeing there is madness in your family people just keep getting mad like a, 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 a psychological psycho, what, what's it called you know that issue of madness i'm about to pray just bring just bring them out father in the name of jesus christ upon everyone here on this ground right now if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice that is under the influence of the spirit of delay some of you that's why jobs have not come some of you that's why doors have not opened right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus inside outside following online and at the mention of that name the power of god will rest upon you and that devil leaves you are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command that spirit go now go now bring them out delay of all sorts delay in the name of jesus christ every power that is responsible for delay we come against it we come against it we come against it whether in business in politics in career i come against that spirit we are praying for people now hallelujah now we're still praying there are families that are corporately under that influence some of you will travel abroad and come back and yet nothing moves in your life 
I declare right now everything that has refused to move in your life the power that is responsible for it be delivered be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there are many of you your loved ones worship deities and even though some of them have stopped these deities may seem to have had a legal ground over your life but my bible says plotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us i want to declare your final deliverance if there is anything parus katebara territorial deities planted to the earth that may be the reason why people do not rise right now by the power that raised christ from the dead at the count of three may fire locate those people and fall upon them now one two three take that fire 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 it's time for you to move forward open your mouth in one minute and begin to prophesy your advancement i move forward by the spirit of the living god are you praying in the name that is above all names i make progress i move forward no power keeps me down in the name of jesus the christ hallelujah 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 we are still praying please be sensitive there is a spirit called failure at the edge of breakthrough have you heard it that your eyes will always see it and when your hand is about to touch it something happens i want to pray for you right now father anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a family pattern that makes people to see good things but never handle it my god my god i'm seeing the power of god rest on people let them not go in the name of jesus at the count of three i declare deliverance right now at the count of three you will shout jesus one two three shout jesus every pattern every pattern over your life that makes you rise and go down every pattern comes under judgment now under judgment now under judgment now now listen to me we are praying every time a good thing is about to happen to you there a vision comes or a dream you are in primary school or you are in secondary school writing an exam that you never pass or someone comes to molest fire is coming on those altars right now father at the count of three everyone here being manipulated from the spirit realm i declare by the rod of the higher priesthood let there be deliverance now one two three let fire come on you now let fire come on you now every strange spirit manipulating your destiny be delivered now the realm of the spirit is a very powerful realm someone will vow to help you vow to lift you this man that man holding on the chair i don't know who that man is sir please lift your hands i just saw something like a chain all over you and the lord is saying that you should i should lose you i stretch my hands to you i don't know you sir but in the name of jesus christ every chain that has held you be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now
Elana subrakatus ke di balik ke dia. The Lord is asking me to break the power of patterns. Every year at the same time something happens. This has been so. Either death or sicknesses. Some is rainy season. Some is dry season. Repetition. Some is after two, two years. After three, three years. Someone must die. Or every year. Right now in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. If there is any pattern over your life and your family. Help them please. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three. That pattern is broken right now. One. Two. Three. I break that pattern now. I break that pattern now. Patterns of death. Patterns of failure. Be broken now. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. There are families here. The only way you eat is by serving others. Anything that will take you to the top, there is a spirit that will always bring you down. I don't mean serving like value, becoming a slave. The only way. And the Lord is asking me to deliver families here where the man is the woman and the woman is the man. The man is a woman and the woman is a man. In terms of responsibility and supplies, everything comes from the woman. I decree by the spirit of the living God. Don't be tired of receiving. I speak over your life. Every pattern again I repeat that is not of God at work in your life. That devil that is behind it, they catch fire now. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Hallelujah. Who is Gloria? I'm hearing a name Gloria. Gloria. Marvelous God. Gloria. Gloria. In a few minutes, the grace for speed is going to be resting in this place. <laughs> Gloria. Every altar, hear me. The Lord is speaking about a Gloria. Our medical people, I can pray for you and then you go back and continue your work. But in the name that is above all names, I don't know why the Lord sent for you. I'm just seeing fire moving in front of the stage here. Everyone here under the yoke of witchcraft that will not let you go. In the name of Jesus. May fire come upon you now. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar sitting on your destiny. This is koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered now. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name and that at the mention of that name every knee must bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord Madam this woman come this one where are you from where are you from madam Benway State. Yes, sir. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you Hi. I command every devil don't be embarrassed I'm not a prophet of doom okay but I'm seeing a snake just walking over you like head to toe head to toe again in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil let her go now let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now help her please let her go now I'm seeing a serpent this is what I'm seeing just moving left and right he gave us authority over snakes and scorpions and over every power of the enemy hallelujah hmm. now I'm seeing a vision that I usually don't see very often I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi state this is Kogi the moment I begin to pray those from that region usually I don't know why God does that the power of God begins to come on them bring them now in the name of Jesus this is what I'm seeing deliverance I'm seeing Kogi state Kogi state oh there are altars I'm seeing sitting on men's destinies will not allow men rise but I come by the road of a higher priesthood by this revelation everyone connected to that territory be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now bring them out be delivered now this things are signs and wonders the Lord does it to bring glory to his name my eyes are open again the Lord is still showing me that vision and I'm seeing the light of going of God going from Kogi state I am seeing emo state emo state right now I'm seeing the power of God they're resting just emo state I declare now help them everyone who is connected to that territory and it's under any demonic influence your liberty comes for you now be delivered now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ sir can i talk to you please come i don't know you i don't know anything about you but come your life is about to change I hope you're not embarrassed sir I want to pray for you where are you coming from sir from, from Anambra State. State I want to pray for you because I'm seeing stroke the devil wants to bring stroke on your life this is what I'm saying to paralyze the entire one side of you stroke this is a demonic thing number two I'm seeing that by next month the devil had planned bringing a serious attack on your finances that everything will just go down mysteriously in a way that nobody will be able to understand I want to pray for you and the dream you have and you see dead people I want to pray for you you are together okay I want to pray for you father every ah I'm praying for you and yet I'm seeing the power of God on your wife in the name of Jesus Christ you see you are praying for husband and it's in, your, in my vision is your wife i'm seeing under the power of god right now in the name that is above all names i declare the yoke of bondage over this family breaks now breaks now breaks now honorable sir please come i fear god and i'm not going to i want to speak to you I don't know why but the Lord is saying as you anoint you hold on in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands by the spirit of grace and I declare over you that in the name of Jesus the grace for the next level let it come upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit let it come upon you right now and every conspiracy that is around you we bring it down 
in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you the Lord is showing me a vision I'm seeing someone now of course when you mention you are a pharmacist but um, I'm seeing very serious oppression you are in this this um, this auditorium you are a pharmacist if you are not a pharmacist go back even if you're a medical practitioner pharmacist that's the word I don't know why God does this but I want to pray for you father I just saw fire just moving the length and the breath in the name of Jesus I burn everything every chaff that is not of God give way now in the name of Jesus every bondage that the devil is planning related to your profession I declare deliverance right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now please don't be offended i would not say this if god did not ask me to say it but you don't have to come out but the lord is ministering to me now i just saw two ladies you are two ladies you are friends you are staying in the house of a married man it's not your husband go back leave that house in the mighty name of jesus christ I'm saying I'm not I'm not here to insult your pedigree I'm just acting as the Holy Spirit is leading me because destruction is coming to meet you there I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God I'm going to pray for you that's all right leave that after service don't even go back there that's where you came from leave that place it's good to come to the house of God the house of God is a solution place that's where we save the lost we help people but you have to you have to take god seriously so leave that house and go back and leave them in peace in the name of jesus christ in fact i'm seeing those two ladies you are students you are students of university of abuja this is what i'm seeing in my vision i don't mean to embarrass you pack your load and go back you came to school to learn every foul spirit that will make you loiter around a destiny that is not your own go back now listen when we say these things is not to laugh and embarrass them everyone intrinsically is a sincere person we are victims of our understanding our belief systems and then our conditions this is a family of faith this is not where we laugh at people and say tell them no when God speaks like this we approach people from a standpoint of love and mercy are we together now this must be the attitude you carry because you have to be in people's shoes don't just say uh, I will, mm -mm, mm -mm. just just thank God for showing you mercy if you are not the person I'm talking about hallelujah you are not just a pharmacy so God will use you in ministry my friend I stretch my hands over you may that grace come upon you you will begin a journey with the Holy Spirit that will lead you to power in the spirit this is not just the practice of pharmacy you will walk mightily in the healing grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing I don't know if it's one of you here there is a, a project that I don't know if it's a contract or a project now that who is that person what project is that the business it's a big business uh, no, this is I'm saying this is like a contract oh, between a, a firm and you and the Lord is asking me to pray for that person I'll pray for everybody, but this is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that here? What's that where? Huh? Where? Okay In the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the Spirit of the Living God and by the power that raised Christ from the dead because you have come here tonight every power that stops your advancement and your progress i come against it now i come against it now in the name of jesus the christ of god i come against it now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please return back rejoicing i want to pray 
for the sick right now. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. How many of you believe in miracles? The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing things being removed from the stomach of people. I don't know what it is. This is what I'm seeing. This is in my vision now. I'm seeing something just coming out. Some is growths, fibroids that are being removed right now as I'm speaking. The power of God is resting on those people one by one by one. For others is growths, all kinds of lumps. I'm about to pray for the sick shortly. But in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that for all those that God is showing me right now, wherever you are located in this auditorium or around, I stretch my hands. May fire from heaven. Hmm. May fire from heaven. Kalis kati kota shalakros kedi brandagata. May fire from heaven rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray for the sick. Listen, I believe in the healing ministry. Before Jesus Christ returns, there will be an escalation of the power of Jesus to heal and to deliver in a way and a proportion that we have never seen. I believe that with all my heart because the word of God says so. And fathers who have gone ahead left it as a prophecy. And we ourselves who by the privilege of God's grace is granted the power to walk in this. We bear witness that these speakings are true. I want to pray for you right now. Here's what we're going to do very quickly. Some of you just under the anointing, even whilst the service came, the power of God has already touched you. But I'm going to pray for the sick. I truly believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Everywhere. Inside, outside. Just help those under the anointing. Miracles are happening now. For those, for those, if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as a point of contact. You can also stand in for loved ones. You heard the testimony of the dear lady. All overflows. And you who are following, watching from whatever TV station or your homes via internet i like you right there where you are connect by faith believe jesus we come in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i want you to believe it will happen in a moment in a twinkling of an eye just take your eyes away from the sickness some of you have all kinds of death sentences before you take your eyes away from it i want to pray right now agree with me as i pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A gentleman is going to run out now by the power of God. The moment that happens, the healing power of God will begin to move. Honestly, I don't know why God does these things, but these are signs and wonders. A gentleman, the power of God will rest upon him literally. He will begin to run. Just hold him so he does not injure himself. This is a sign that the Lord gives me to trigger the flow of the healing power of Jesus. Father, thank you. The, the my, a mighty, very mighty anointing will just rest upon a gentleman. And the moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. And for that gentleman, it's not just resting on you for nothing. Help them, please, quickly. Now we can pray. Please help them. The ministry of signs and wonders is a fearful ministry. Right now in the name of Jesus, every devil and every spirit that is behind infirmity, in the name of Jesus, I command that that spirit leaves you now. Help them please, help them my God. Right now in Jesus name be healed. Be healed. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now. Anyone under 
anyone sitting on a wheelchair or on crutches lift it up now and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ lift it up now and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ blind eyes be open now whether partial blindness or total that blindness be healed now deafness of any sort one or both ears be healed now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone I don't know if it's, it's a swelling I don't know if it's goiter or something around your throat the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lower abdominal pain I'm seeing lower abdominal pain the Lord is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ breathing problem I don't know specifically what it is but I'm seeing you have problem breathing in fact this problem makes you snore seriously when you are asleep you snore in a way that it doesn't matter what position very heavy snoring the power of God is resting upon you now I'm seeing a woman you are a bit elderly I'm seeing severe pain just around the lumbar vertebra here the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now you came with a sick person you are outside you are in the overflow outside I don't know if it's um now don't be embarrassed I don't know if it's HIV or so but I'm seeing the power of God touch that person right now every blood condition here that needs to be changed in the name of Jesus we change it now we change it now heart palpitations is being healed now the Lord is healing heart palpitations I'm seeing someone I don't know what it is but it's like they diagnose something inside your head I don't know if it's a growth or something um, that is inside your head and for one that I'm seeing at the back of your eyes I'm not a doctor forgive me if I don't get it right but it looks like there is something swelling at the back of your eyes I hope I'm saying the right thing but in the name of Jesus right now may the power of God touch you supernatural miracle right now there's there's a gentleman I'm seeing your wrist I don't know what happened but there is severe pain around your wrist the power of God is touching you right now right now I'm, I'm seeing th this is a very interesting case God is showing me there's someone you are losing your teeth gradually gradually one by one I, I don't know if it's that your mouth is is I, I, I don't know what the condition is but um, you are beginning to lose your teeth there is a miracle supernatural miracle that is happening to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone your chest was hit I think in a dream you were sleeping and there was an impact on your chest from that day when you woke up you've been falling sick recurrently and even with chest pain in the name of Jesus be healed now are we still together asthma be healed now God is healing asthma someone who is being healed will shout a loud shout not just not amen but I'm seeing that's how that person's healing is coming asthma God is healing asthma severe migraine especially in the night pounding migraine on your head be healed right now in Jesus name the Lord is asking me to pray for someone you are not on any weight loss uh, program or any diet but you have started losing weight no matter what you eat this has even got you concerned because you are emaciating people are even looking at it they think you're fasting but you are beginning to get concerned very significant weight loss and it has nothing to do with dieting or whatever it is this is a demonic thing because from what I'm seeing I'm seeing that there is something wrong with your liver in the name of Jesus Christ wherever you are by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now help them please help that person in the name of Jesus Christ a miracle is happening to you right there where you are now there are people following it's amazing do you know how many people connect from hospitals 
to this miracle service there are several hospitals right now and bless god for the kinds of doctors and nurses and and you know medical practitioners that we have because sometimes they know that this situation is beyond the issue of medicine they know that this is a demonic thing so i'm praying for those who are connecting any patient right now from the hospital world over you are following every death sentence on you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus i bring you life and healing now life and healing now by the power of the holy spirit hear me every malfunctioning organ here in this place right now i declare be healed in jesus name there's someone at the back you are close to the door the power of god is touching you you are close to one of these doors i'm seeing the power of god touching that person and the lord is taking something out of that person's life in the name of jesus be healed now anyone here having high blood pressure or low blood pressure how many of you know that they are all evil whether high or low i don't know what kind of thing is that whether it's high is bad low is also bad whichever category but especially high blood pressure there are many many people right now as they are they do not even know anyone here young or old you are under the influence of high blood pressure in jesus name we command your blood pressure to go down to normalcy sugar diabetes in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing someone they had performed a surgery on you something i don't know if it was appendicitis but from that time you have not been yourself again i think they they maybe you know remove the appendix or something but i'm seeing there's been severe pain you can't even sit down um you know and and press that side there's severe pain right now as i'm speaking the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus now the lord is showing me two women we'll be very fast about this the lord is showing me two women i'm seeing that you gave birth through cs and from the time you gave birth through cs every time you bend there is a very sharp pain all through your lower abdominal region in the name of jesus as i'm speaking right now after the prayer i want you to check it that devil leaves your body now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now now very quickly wherever you are i'm going to ask you to check yourself some of you whilst you were under the anointing and some of you right now all the overflows i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened i want you to run to either of the aisles here or here very quickly let's take a few testimonies to the glory of the name of the lord people are coming already miracles are happening look at this miracles are happening let's celebrate jesus miracles are happening by the power of the holy spirit let's celebrate them koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles all those from any overflow please allow them come please allow them come allow them come let's take a few testimonies right now as it is happening here that's how it's happening in your various homes happening in the various stations where you left to come here in the name of jesus christ very quickly please allow anyone coming for testimony from whatever from whatever overflow please allow them very quickly to come let's do this on time and whilst this is happening if you're yet to submit your prayer request please wave it if you needed some time to write just write and wave it very quickly so that an usher can pick it and then would come and why do we celebrate miracles like this number one to show that the word of god works number two to help people to see the one who is able to produce these miracles hallelujah anyone who is coming here for testimony for miracles please let them come very quickly just confirm them and then we'll have a few yes sir yes sir is this working please help us hallelujah apostle amazing so she's been having this thing in her ankle for, for a long time now over how long 10 years over 10 years yes, sir. and what happened to you tonight it's, it's run 
run look at this hallelujah no pain lift your hands it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit never returns to you again in the name of jesus yes please Apostle, this is a case of heart condition amazing what what's your name my dear my name is esther naftali tell us your testimony two weeks ago i've been having heaviness in my heart i even collapsed in the hospital the doctor said i have heart failure and you have what heart failure they do do to i was praying god revived me after then i was discharged what happened now and now i am very totally completely free. run Pray. let the devil see you rejoicing any pain any pain you will never go back to the hospital for that condition in jesus name yes please Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of someone that was hit in the dream this you, is the brother you were the gentleman and now what has happened to you completely it's gone in jesus name may it never return to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please risk challenge that you gave is your wrist check it any pain he's smiling in the name of jesus christ everything that is yet to come back in place in your life by this testimony we put it back in place now yes please very quickly okay yes sir Apostle, she flew in all the way from liberia all the way from liberia i brought my son that had metal problem and when i reached the hotel for the program i just got attacked my whole chest i couldn't from here i couldn't walk even if people saw me i was walking like this and what happened to you now i'm very free. completely check yourself all the way from liberia look at this breathe in and out any pain any pain any pain in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit you are perfected now from your head to your toe in the name of jesus christ yes please so apostle god is touching children he loves children yes sir what happened to you my leg was paining me your leg was paining you and now what happened the pain is gone okay try to run run let the devil see you run let's celebrate our wonderful son turn back and run again any pain any pain give jesus praise it will never return to you again in the name of jesus christ are we ready with anyone yes go ahead you get word of knowledge of Maybe, uh, someone that has asthma she couldn't breathe very well but now she's okay how long how long has she been has been for 10 years now. for 10 years breathe in and out go ahead in and out in and out again in and out again any pain asthma you are demonic we curse you you leave that lady never to return to her again in jesus name yes please mama was diagnosed of diabetes so as a result of that, she has had challenge, blood vision. She said she couldn't see the stick, but now she could see everything clearly. Do you know what I just saw? As soon as he lifted that, I just saw something that looked like a dark, like a, an object, a shadow, just flew. That's what I just saw. <laughs> Madam, can you see clearly now? Yes, I can see you. You can see me now. Yes. You couldn't see me before. Yes. You couldn't see and now you can see can you see everything behind me god has opened your eyes in jesus name let's celebrate a miracle here in jesus name perfection for you yes please it's lost challenge that you gave he said he has been having it but now the power of god has what, come upon him he what, under the anointing. what is that weight loss weight loss weight loss you've been losing weight yes, what is your name okay from Okay. You've been losing weight. Quite a while now, I've been trying to gain weight. But the more I eat, the less um, I couldn't get the weight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are healed now and perfected. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Apostle, the same issue with weight loss. You gave a word of knowledge and the medical team have actually checked out. Someone is... In, um, the weight loss started 10 months ago. I thought it was because I was praying much then and everything, but even after that, I was still losing weight. The weight I am now, I was last this weight, secondary school and fresher year in university, and that was many years ago. Yes, everybody complains, my colleagues, everybody, my, my family members. So as you said that, I fell under the anointing, and you spoke about the wrist problem. For some months now, I had a 
sprain that was unexplained. I could not bear weight. I used to exercise, but I could not bear weight on my, on my, on my hands anymore. So as you said that, I fell under the anointing. I tried to, I couldn't touch the ground, but I tried to um, press against the wall. And I'm able to bear weight on that hand. And then this morning as I was coming, I noticed an abnormal skin change around my breast. And I knew that it was not... Like it wasn't normal. So when you spoke and we should touch out, we should check ourselves. I quickly ran to check in the bathroom and the breast, the, look, the skin looks normal. Completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now by the power of Jesus Christ, be completely whole. Now, healed and made whole. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's celebrate Jesus. Another case of weight loss. Apostle, we have several cases of weight loss. Completely. Miracles. Okay, for the past three weeks. Um, people always complain of body waste, but I did not observe it because I lost appetite of eating. But I realized that my stomach was really, really hot for days. Even in the service this evening, I had, in fact, I had to sit down for a while. But as we were talking about waste loss, I fell under and they are Okay. And, and all of you? Okay, three of you? Yes, three. I stretch my hands over you in the name of Jesus, even as God has spoken. Let it remain so in your life. I rebuke every devil that wants to bring you any health challenge on that wise. Be healed now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Go ahead. Sir, this girl used to have back pain. Confirm her mother is in the medical team. Her mother is in the medical team. medical team. But the pain is gone now. What's your name, darling? Naomi. Naomi. What happened to you? I've been having lower back pain. Look how smart this girl is, okay? And now, what happened? Yes, stop. Check yourself. Check yourself. Any pain? Can you imagine? Wonderful Naomi. Any pain now? No. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you grow to become a mighty vessel in the hands of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Next person. Our mommy here has, she has had arthritis that she couldn't fold her leg. Mama, you've had arthritis. Give her the mic. When I was coming, I could not even actually climb the upstairs or that. But after the prayer, I feel relieved and I could walk. I was able to walk up at the street. Mama, you couldn't climb the stairs yeah, right I was, now. I was just struggling, you know, but as of now, yes. I was able to climb. Okay, walk. Anyway. Let's see. Go ahead. Come, climb this. Come up. Oh come on, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You're the name above every other name. What can you change? Hold on, please. You came here with your legs yeah, swollen. swollen but it has How long? Look at this. How long? Drastic. Your leg has been swollen. And right now, it's gone down. And I have migraine. I have migraine. What, what could you not do before? Go ahead. Check yourself. Any pain. The swelling is gone down. In the name of Jesus, the head, the swelling, and every other thing in your body, be healed from it now. Hey. In Jesus' name, give Jesus praise. Are you celebrating miracles, Koinonia? The case of weight loss, but the power of God came on our mother and she's fine. Mama, please talk very quickly. Yes. I've been, I had this weight loss. I've lost to my over 13 or 15 kg, all intentionally. And I was diagnosed with a good um, cyst on the liver with an elastin. But when you prayed, I fell under the anointing. And right now, Yes, you go happy. back to the hospital okay. and you will be shocked at what the doctors will tell you. In the name of Jesus, you are healed now. Completely healed. Never to return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, this is God working. The issue of the back pain, God healed many people instantly. Back pain. Back pain. All of you with back pain, just yes. stand together. I want to pray for you. Back pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who healed your back, 
in the name of Jesus Christ let it remain permanent I decree and declare that no devil of darkness will afflict your back again in Jesus name you are healed you remain healed forever in Jesus name let's celebrate Jesus for them Apostle we need to hear this yes please go ahead I've been having abdominal pain What's your name? My, leg. my name is Jennifer Goji. Okay. It has been affecting my leg. Why was it now obsessed? The pain just disappeared. Just like that. Yes. Check yourself. Yes. Check. Yes. Any pain. Yes. Any pain completely. Yes, In the name of Jesus, every devil of abdominal pain, it leaves you never to return to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Apostle, you mentioned the issue of wrist pain. All of them. Please come. Wrist or waist? Wrist. wrist. Check yourselves. Please. Go ahead. About three weeks ago, I was having my wrist here. Yeah, it was paining me and even my knee. But even before Apostle started praying for the sick, I got my healing. I just waited because I know that after um, he prayed for the sick, he will call for testimony. I want to thank God. My, my sporting, In the name of Jesus Christ, God has healed you. Amen. And every other person he has healed, I stretch my hands on all of you. In Jesus' name, it remains permanent. It remains permanent in Jesus' name. Yes. She was with the medical team earlier. She had goiter on her throat. Goiter. Confirmed, but it has reduced now. And it's coming now. It's coming now. What's your name, madam? Loretta. What? Loretta. 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 You have, place your hand there. In the name of Jesus, I declare. The hand of God that begun this right now. May the power of God bring perfection. That devil. Go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete wholeness and perfection. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. There is no allowance. If God is alpha, let him be omega. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Be healed. Yes, please. You mentioned cases related to the, to the truth. She has had difficulty in swallowing. But now she can swallow. How long, madam? For about a month now. I'm supposed to go for a test tomorrow again, actually. And right now? There may not be need for the test again. Except to confirm. In Jesus' name, your throat healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Go ahead. Mama here, she came here not too strong. She said she could not even stand with the pain in her chest. But as you pray, the pain disappeared and then she can stand. Mama, where, where, are you, where are you coming from? Okay, what happened to you? I have severe pain. When I, the hospital says it's an ulcer. Hmm. I've been taking treatment. Have and, and right now, not, no completely gone. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, he had urinary tract urinary tra tra infection. Urinary tract infection. Yes, yes, so confirm? He, medically yeah. confirm? Yeah. No, sir. There was a pain. When, so, when you said that those that are having lower abdominal pain, she will get, uh, she will release your, re receive your healing. So I felt something from my left leg because that is where I usually feel the pain. So something was going down from inside there. Completely. In the name of Jesus, your healing remains permanent Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Yes, I used to have a leaf noid swelling under my arm. I normally take antibiotics so it can go down. As of today, the swelling was there. And after the prayer, I put my hands on my underarm. And I leave you couldn't find it again. So Completely. For many of you, the trouble that was there before you came here, after the grace, as you go back, you will search everywhere and you will never find it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord perfects you in Jesus' name. Um, let's see if we can just have maybe two, two more because we need to work with time. Yes, please. Go ahead. Loss of teeth. With you, holes. you are the one. Loss of teeth. With holes. Let, let, let her talk. The woman. I, I, I lost two teeth when I traveled. So when I came back, this one started shaking. Oh, I'm seeing it. Completely. Can you imagine this kind of demonic thing? I don't know what the medical condition is. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? How about you, my friend? I have removed one before. So I have two rooms. So after, as you are praying, I receive shock. Yeah. Completely. Yes, sir. And the doctors have checked. The normal hole is not what it has been filled. There's no hole there again. 
confirmed by our medical team look at this miracle two holes removed and after prayer there's brand new teeth there right now in the hole confirmed by the medical team we don't fake miracles here if it didn't happen it didn't happen it's as simple as that my friend you believe in jesus if jesus can fill a hole that has been there in your presence confirmed by the the medical team is a team of very seasoned doctors if he can fill a hole in a teeth what can he not do can't he put money in an empty account can't he put joy in an empty life i speak over your life that everything that is now empty bringing shame in the name of jesus speedily may god fill it with everything that should be there please sit down i pray for you both in jesus name let this miracle be perfected and let it remain in your life in jesus name yes sir apostle he had moving objects moving even, objects moving objects even during the service objects were moving around his body you know this issue of moving objects is a very demonic thing some of you go through it just uh, you can have everything god put in the human body he gave it boundaries you are not allowed to move any the only thing that can move everywhere is blood and that's to carry food oxygen they tell us but demons flow through these things and they move everywhere from your head and the rest anything that is a stranger in your body and is loitering up and down causing you pain and organ malfunctions this night it comes to an end now yes sir apostle this is strange wow please go ahead um from past 20 years now 20 I've, years yes i've always if i eat anytime i eat i will have to put it back in my mouth and retrain it back so as you said if you have to I, eat if i eat she, she regurgitates so she brings out the food 20 uh, years yes sir. yes sir what's your name Busayo. okay listen to this interesting testimony so as you said we should check ourselves although from home i believe that i'm, I'm ill already so i have to take biscuit and pure water now and i try to do it and it's no more can, can you imagine this kind of demonic thing you eat and you have to regurgitate to eat again before it goes down in the name of jesus christ that spirit that has tormented you like that it leaves you never to return again in jesus name be healed completely in jesus name yes let's take one more sir maybe just one or two and then yes please um, i was operated of appendix last year so since then i used to feel pain oh you're the lady with the appendix operation in the name of jesus christ let that pain leave you now never to return to you now it goes never to return in jesus name yes please our doctor will confirm. okay doctor go ahead yes apostle he just uh, he came to meet me now that i had the test he went to do consign his, um, his sight and there's a specification the kind of glass he has to use before he can read yes so i just saw it and i took his phone far away from him and asked him to read and he could read very clearly without the use of the his glass. eyes my goodness in the name of jesus christ supernatural healing for your eyes it will never return again 2020 vision in the mighty name of jesus let's take one more and then we'll have to pray for just, everyone just for... Sorry, sir. yes asthma, she was under asthmatic and, and asthma attack when she was the lady you said she's going to scream under the anointing oh you are the one yes, sir. what's your name my dear kemisola kemisola yes. you believe in jesus yes, sir. asthma goes now you are a devil you will never return again Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. yes okay uh-huh the first one was when you said god is dealing with things coming out of our stomach i'm scheduled for operation for fibroid and because of the blood this flow and where it was located it put me on a drug for three months so i've been taking it every day until i came in yesterday so as you just said it, I just felt 
like something shifted in my nerve down here, and then it started coming out of my mouth. And the second one was the shout, and then I just fell outside. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, I stretch my hands and I declare healing. You will go to the hospital and you will be surprised what the doctors will say. Spectacular miracle in your body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, please. In summary, sir. Pain in the air, backbone. Yes. In the, in the name of Jesus. Let, let's just take one more, sir, and then... Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge about somebody that had an experience. This is the lady. Wow. It was after a conversation in my office. They said that my village people are witch. They are all manner of things. So I rejected it. I said, I reject it. I'm not part of it because I've been called out of every tongue, out of every language. Mm, and yes, what so happened? So when I got home, I slept in the night and I felt... They pressed me as, as if I was being pressed. Since then, it has been heartburn, gastritis, chest pain, and all. I came here with teeth. So when I came, when I came home uh, to the service, rather here, when you were ministering, I felt as if cold water was being poured in my chest. It doesn't matter what village you are coming from. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, anything connected to village. I break you from it now. The Bible says we have a high calling and a holy one. Then it says we have been called out of every tribe, every tongue. You came from heaven. You only pass through that geographic region. And every altar that will not let you go. In Jesus' name, may the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus, supernatural healing for you. Yes, please. Also, we need to hear this. Okay. Koinonia, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been suffering from masturbation for 10 years now. So sometimes I, I, I will pray, I will fast. In fact, there was one time one woman appeared to me that I cannot free from it. But uh, from the beginning of this month, I listened to Apostle message, uh, Deliverance, the mystery of deliverance, yes. part one, two, three, and four. I listened to it last month, uh, uh, part four. I used anointing oil, and that anointing oil, I used it and pray, and I still. And right now. It. But right now, I, as opposed to prayer, I feel something coming out from my anus. You see, let me tell you, this is a dangerous spirit. I don't mean to embarrass you, but you get ten people, ten people, and you can almost see that seven or eight out of ten people are suffering from this wicked spirit of masturbation or pornography any habit that has refused to let you go i call upon the god of my covenant in the name of jesus it leaves your destiny now and if it's a family pattern i decree and declare be delivered forever from it now for all of you who are here i really apologize i'm not sure that we may be able to take uh, okay let that be the last yes you case of weight loss she has had it for years now but when she mentioned that she fell under the anointing and then she went outside to go and vomit something this is the friend that came with her she went to vomit something to vomit something outside and and all all that nonsense has gone in jesus name enjoy your liberty as a child of god now for all of you who are out here and those who could not make it in the name of jesus i declare be supernaturally healed now be supernaturally healed now be supernaturally healed now every ailment you came with it never returns to you in jesus name i pray please return rejoicing everyone rise up let's stretch our hands towards the prayer requests we're praying right now there is a god in heaven who can answer prayers and i want you to stretch your hands as i pray we have a covenant of answered prayer in this house wherever you are i would always say that this is the most accurate representation of everyone's desire we may see in part we may prophesy in part and for some of you the cases that are called may not concern you but in the name of jesus why is she there is that a what was the issue you can find out if she needs prayer someone just pray for her please stretch your hands everybody towards me and begin to declare declare over the request that you have written 
in the name of Jesus Christ declare over these requests several thousands from around the world in the name of Jesus Christ is someone praying The name of Jesus in the name of Jesus why do we pray on request all the time number one because the Bible says call unto me and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not number two we pray because the Bible says unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come we pray because the Bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it we are believers father i bow my knees over every request here you don't have to kneel please stand i decree and declare in the name of jesus every prayer request here we turn it into a testimony now every death sentence here in the name of jesus we turn it into a testimony now every legal case here that requires supernatural intervention we call upon the god of mercy to intervene now every death sentence here we decree and declare in the name of Jesus the power of God rest upon this I stand upon this request and I declare everything that has stood upon you to bring shame and reproach as I'm standing prophetically upon this request may you rise above it now 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 may you rise above it now, above it now. Above it now. hear me and anyone who has vowed that he will not give you peace my bible says and the god of all peace shall give you peace himself always and by all means may the vengeance of god rest upon anyone who will not give you peace now receive these prophetic words anyone here trusting god for a job in the name of Jesus I pray for you some of you between now and next Sunday not next not next week between now and next Sunday I call upon the God of my covenant may you return with jobs that will surprise you please receive it prophecy is powerful 
number two i pray for you any door that has refused to open and you know it needs to open for the next level of your destiny whoever is sitting as the gatekeeper i will not let that door open we clear them out of the way in the name of jesus christ hear me anybody holding what belongs to you and has refused to release it in the name of jesus we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until it gets to you in the name of jesus christ the bible says when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace hear me every helper of your destiny who has been ignoring you until now i place an anointing upon you this week they have no rest till they get up and attend to you i want to pray for you there are some of you like mordecai you have helped many people from destruction and you have not been rewarded mordecai helped the king and they still left him on the ground at the gate but the bible says that night could not king ahazaro sleep i pray for you anybody you have helped and the season of reward has come and they have refused to attend to you this night by prophecy i open the book of remembrance i open the book of remembrance may the mercy of god locate you for your lifting let me pray for those due for promotion the bible says promotion does not come from the east the west or the south indeed it comes from the north mount zion the side of the north the bible calls it the city of the great king i pray for you all of you who are due for promotion in the name of jesus may my god who is also your god may he surprise you listen promotion does not mean giving you another rank promotion means another level anyone here who came with any point of contact whether your credentials whether documents whether whatever it is in the name of jesus i declare them anointed i declare them anointed i declare them anointed let me pray for all who are in business here you are in business provided your business is legitimate and is scriptural i stand by the god of heaven and i declare may grace from heaven that brings for increase for influence for visibility may it rest upon the works of your hands i pray for those who are in politics and governance by the power that raised christ from the dead i announce to you by the spirit of grace let this be your season of lifting believe me these are not empty words let this be your season of lifting yeah. hallelujah now i want to release a grace on anyone here who is in ministry or is called in the fivefold ministry there are many many people who are called into the fivefold ministry but there has not been that activation of the grace and the oil wherever you are i stretch my hands god of heaven prophetic mantles right now in the name of jesus everyone called into the prophetic help them paruska the eyes that see the ears that hear may that grace i activate prophetic fountains in the name of jesus accuracy in perception in the name of jesus there are people here based on your divine assignment you should be carrying certain anointings healing anointings anointings for the sick where are they oh god please help them right now anyone here who should carry the mantle for healing i stretch my hands may the power from heaven let it in the name of jesus healing grace healing fountains healing mantles take that grace healing grace i say it again go back and meet the sick in your homes in your environment 
get them out of those dead beds in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here, the mantle for leadership has been looking for you. Mantle for leadership. I want to pray for you. Anyone here who should carry that grace for leadership, whether you are aware or not, I stretch my hands wherever you are, within this auditorium and outside. May that grace locate you now. Carry that grace for leadership. Carry that katabada. Carry that grace for leadership. There are kingdom financiers that God is raising in this end time. Financial apostles indeed. People who understand the purpose of the wealth of the kingdom. Help them please. More than just self-aggrandizement. More than just I'm getting a car or a house. That's not the purpose for wealth. In the name of Jesus, everyone here who must take off that mantle, I can tell you there is a mantle for wealth. I decree and declare wherever you are, in Sapakatoshkatebereketia, may that grace rest on you now. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Let it open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus. I want to release a grace for access and visibility. Hear me? It's one thing to have the value, whether spiritual, whether whatever it is. There are many gifted people looking at me here and following. But you see, there is a grace that makes men identify you and give you visibility so that you will find expression. The Bible says, neither do men light a lamp. There are many anointed people here, but the grace to locate you. For as long as Samuel did not carry that oil, David, even though he was killing the lion, even though he could lead Israel, he remained in the bush. The grace for visibility takes men from the bush and it puts you where you belong. I have tasted of that grace. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, anyone here who should rise to visibility for people to see what you carry so that you can represent God in your assigned territory, may that mantle rest on you now. May that mantle rest on you now. My God, fire is burning here. Just be patient. What you are receiving will bless you. Are you ready for speed now? Oh, there is a grace for speed. There really is a grace for speed. You don't have all the time for everything. I stretch my hands. Koinonia, I speak to you. Maris Koteleketia, from today, take the grace for speed. The mantle for speed. The mantle for speed. The grace for speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. Ten years in one month. I release it upon you now. Every man needs destiny helpers to rise in life. No matter how grace you are. Even Jesus needed John the Baptist to announce him. I desire to, you, to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. I want to call your destiny helpers by prophecy. Father, everyone here, because I sense in my spirit, that there are people who are in strange seasons in their lives this is what i sense you are coming to the end of a season and you are connecting with a greater one but if there is no helper of destiny you can remain there and recycle seasons again i pray for you from the north to the south the east to the west within this nation and outside of this nation wherever the helper of your destiny is i command them to appear now
everything that has died in your life business or whatever endeavor including your spiritual life i call upon jesus who is the resurrection and even the life let there be resurrection to every dead thing now dead organs hear the word of the lord dead visions hear the word of the lord dead families hear the word of the lord dead marriages hear the word of the lord dead businesses hear the word of the lord dead prayer lives hear the word of the lord let me pray for you any wrong association that makes jesus look unserious to you how many of you know that there are associations that is almost a taboo to love jesus anything that requires you leaving jesus to get it is not worth your time are we together therefore i pray let there be a divine editing on all your relationships we're almost done if the spirit of death is eyeing any family here you know hold on i hope you know whenever it seems as though when we get into the second half of the year from august now into they call it the um ember months september it looks like there is a trend especially in this nation people who have no business dying accidents that don't make sense every blood sucking spirit around the road within this city waiting eaters of flesh aparus kata and drinkers of blood we decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead there is no place for you this time around you have no covenant with death the same way you saw the second half of the year you will see the end of the year and finally let me pray this issue of finances is making many people to leave god in this season people don't pray again they don't fast they don't love god because of this economic thing i'm sorry i know i've taken time just give me a minute or two and we're done you have to receive this there are there are different levels of wealth there is wealth that comes by providing value are we together now you provide your value to a targeted consumer base and you are reward and you are rewarded for it that's that's it that's a, a, a level of wealth there is wealth that comes as a re reward for changing lives and impacting people it's called transformational wealth you don't sell that value you give it free but because it is value it is still mandated that you be rewarded but there is a third dimensional wealth called sovereign wealth is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he preserved he says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe in his prophet so shall you prosper i stand by the privilege of the election of grace and i prophesy over your finances anyone who is in any financial pit right now come out of it now come out of it now whether personally or corporately come out of it now i call for the mystery of the raven that brought bread to elijah at brook Cherith. may strangers you do not know may you collide with them at the gates of destiny may they be used marvelously by god to wipe your tears hear me anyone here that there are bills sitting on your neck and it will not give you rest i come by the rod of a higher priesthood this night in the name of jesus may my god shift systems and structures to bless you are you ready for the final prayer everything that has made god jesus christ to not be a priority to you don't forget we are not just speaking so that people who have money and cars we are a very spiritual people who love jesus with passion and with zest and with zeal and if you're connected to this ministry and this vision 
you must love Jesus we are not just some carnal people out to just we teach and communicate the whole counsel of God the highest being your passion and your fire for God can I pray for you in the name of Jesus the average faithful person in this house should be serious spiritually you have to take God seriously all this one leg in and one leg out is time to be serious the fire that must come upon your prayer altar as an individual and as a family may that fire rest upon you now what study fire the grace to sit down and study scripture not just to get a sermon but to know god and to learn and to grow to be equipped with intelligence that gives you dominion to excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus and by the spirit of grace i release you into supernatural living hallelujah now please no movement there are people here you came for this miracle service you are yet to encounter jesus whilst you heard me preach and whilst you saw the miracles the holy ghost began to speak to you perhaps you were invited by someone many of you are outside at the overflow some of you are within the overflows here please wherever you are let's minimize movement and then there are others who are saying apostle i remember giving my life to jesus but i need a fresh start wherever you are we have one minute for you please leave your seat quickly and come and stand you're welcome let's celebrate them they are coming koinonia let's celebrate salvation indeed the greatest miracle by every standard celebrate them run to jesus we have just a minute for you run to jesus as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away god bless you keep coming quickly if you're coming please win that war tonight win that war tonight come stand here those outside walk to your projector stands walk to your screens hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i salute every single one of you jesus said ye must be born again no matter what it is that you have received here indeed relative to salvation they are very temporal lift your hands every one of you those outside those following from any nation please you're about to make this decision for jesus lift your right hand please join them very quickly if you're coming for the prayers very quickly i want you to lift your hands say this after me say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe that you came you died for me you resurrected for my justification this night i declare that the power of satan sin hell and the grave are broken from off my life i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare from today until forever that i am saved i am a child of god i am a recipient of the life of god i receive also the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life keep your hands lifted father i present to you these ones they have come to honor you they have come because they have seen the need for you in their lives i decree and declare that the grace that saves may that grace rest on you the grace that transforms may that grace rest on you i declare that as a result of this prayer you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media